Welcome to Electron Online. There's been a lot of fervor about the lottery lately, especially the Powerball lottery, where the price was over a billion dollars. Imagine winning a billion dollars, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with how many people rushed out to the store to buy lottery tickets. But what is the chance, the probability of actually winning the Powerball grand prize? The way the Powerball lottery is set up is that they have a machine that contains uh, 69 balls, we call them the white balls, and those 69 balls have numbers on them anywhere from 1 to 69, and five of those balls are drawn from the machine. In addition to that, there's a second machine that contains 26 red balls, and one of those red balls is drawn from that. In order to win the grand prize, you have to have five matching numbers on the white balls and one matching number on the red ball. Now it turns out that the white balls, you cannot have repeating numbers. So if the number 49 is drawn out, the second ball, the third, the fourth, the fifth ball cannot have number 49 on it. It must have a different number on it. That makes sense because there's only 69 balls in the machine. On the red balls, that number can be a duplicate of one of these numbers if one of these numbers is 26 or less because the number of red balls in here is only 26, so you draw one of the 26 red balls out. To figure out the probability of winning the lottery, winning the grand prize, we need to find out the number of combinations you can have on these five balls right here. The equation for the number of combinations is equal to n factorial, n being the total number of balls, divided by n minus k factorial, k the number of balls that you pull out of the machine, times k factorial. Again, k is the number of balls you draw out of the machine. So let's calculate that and see what we get. Now, of course, that's not the chance to win the lottery. We then have to multiply that times 26 because there's still a possibility of only drawing one of the 26 of the red balls. So let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. n factorial, n being the number of balls, that is 69 factorial, divided by n minus k factorial, that's 69 minus 5 factorial, times k factorial, which is 5 factorial. That becomes equal to 69 factorial divided by 69 minus 5, which is 64 factorial, divided by 5 factorial. Now we can simplify that because notice that 69 factorial is 69 times 68 times 67 times 66, all the way down to times 1, and 64 factorial starts at 64, so it's 64 times 63 times 62. So anything 64 and less here gets canceled out with anything 64 and less in the numerator, this then becomes 69 times 68 times 67 times 66 times 65. Everything else gets canceled out with this. And then we still have to divide this by 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 factorial, by the way, is 120. This then becomes equal to, I wish I'd left myself a little bit more room, but it should work out. So 69 times 68 times 67 times 66 times 65 and divide that by 120. And so I get 11, looks like 11 million 238,513. That is your chance of getting all five balls or all five numbers correct. You pull, you have one ticket, there's a chance of 11, one out of 11,238,513, you get the five correct numbers here, but then you still need to get one of these numbers correct. So the total probability of then winning the grand prize would be the probability of getting all five correct, which is 11,238,513, and multiplying it times 26. So the total chance times 26 is one chance in 292,201,338. So you buy one ticket, you have one chance in 292,201,338. It's not a lot of chance. Now, for most of us, we look at that and go, well, what does that really mean? One seems fair enough. I'll just go out and buy some lottery tickets, and I should have some chance. I have as much chance as anybody else to win the lottery. But let's compare that to some other events that most people don't expect to happen to them. For example, in any given year, 
you're 30 more times more likely to get killed by a venomous creature, or 50 times more likely to killed by a tornado, or 150 times more likely to get killed by an airplane when you're flying it, probably not one landing on you, for example. You're more than 14,000 times as likely to get murdered in a year, and you're 29,000 times more likely to get killed in a car accident. And I don't see people stopping driving, even though your chance of getting killed in a car accident is way greater than the chance of winning the lottery. And finally, this is kind of interesting, you have 50,000 times more chance of making it to 100 years of age than your chance of actually winning the lottery. So if you want to make a bet, I would bet I'll turn to be 100 rather than I'm going to win the lottery. To even the chances, you'd have to buy 50,000 lottery tickets, $100,000 of lottery tickets, to have just as much chance of winning the lottery, the grand prize of the lottery, than to live to be 100 years old. I think I'll still stick with this one because I don't want to spend $100,000 on lottery tickets. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that spend a lot of money thinking they have some chance of winning it. The chance is so minuscule. If you really need that money for other things, such as buying food or paying the rent, I would not buy lottery tickets. Maybe having some fun and buying one or two just in the hope that you might be that lucky person, that probably would be okay. But I wouldn't go out and spend a lot of money on lottery tickets. The chance of winning one is very small. Well, if you think that your chance of winning the lottery with just one ticket is not very good, maybe you think that you can buy two tickets, three tickets, five tickets, ten tickets, and increase your chances. Well, you could, but let's see how much of a difference that would make. So let's say you dole out $4 instead of $2 and buy two tickets. Then what you need to do is divide this number by two. So when you buy two tickets, your chances do improve. Now you have one chance, whoop, let me just write it out, one chance in, now we have to divide the number by two, now it's 146,100,669. Still a very small, minuscule chance, which means you have 25,000 times more likely to reach the age of 100 rather than winning the lottery ticket when you buy two tickets. You can see how you would have to buy a lot of tickets and spend a lot of money to get even a reasonable chance. You probably would have to buy millions of dollars worth of tickets to have some reasonable chance of winning the lottery, and I would not want to take that chance.